Hello and thank you for joining me on the Writing from Life Winter Writing Challenge. Although, to be honest, it doesn't have to be done just in winter. It's just that it's winter here in Tassie and I always liked alliterations. So, what is the Writing from Life Winter Writing Challenge? Simply put, it is a challenge to get you to write as many stories about your life as you can or would like to in the next three months. Ideally, it would be one story a week or one anecdote a week, but there's no limitation if you'd like to write more, then just go for it. It started off purely because I want to write more about my life and I needed to find some way to be accountable. Plus, I know there are a lot of other people out there who would also like to write bits about their life, to record what's happened to them over the years, and to simply put it down on the page. So that is the reason why I'm providing all these videos and updates on YouTube and on my Facebook account. So if that sounds like the kind of thing you're interested in, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe so that you'll get all the updates and all the prompts and all the insights to keep you going throughout the next three months. And don't forget to follow me on Elizabeth's writing page on Facebook, which is where you'll find all the discussions and thoughts and other writerly bits relating to the Winter Challenge. I'm planning to put the videos out on YouTube every Friday, two o'clock in the afternoon, Tassie time. Now, obviously today is not Friday, but it is the 1st of June. Therefore, I thought I should actually put the first video out just to prepare everybody and to get things started because there's nothing like putting things off to delay things from happening and stuff. This video is purely to let you know how things are gonna work and what to expect and to get things rolling. So having said that, let's get into it. One of the things that I would recommend that you do starting from this week is to get yourself a notebook that you can carry everywhere with you to jot down the ideas and the memories that come to mind so that if you feel like recording or writing down a story you've always got something to write about. Plus it means of course that when you look at the writing prompts you've got something that will come to mind because hopefully the prompts that I'll be sharing with you will inspire more than one story. And if those memories are coming to mind, it would be a shame to miss them, even if you only manage to write down a few lines of an anecdote or an outline of an event so that you've got it recorded. Another thing that I would strongly recommend that you do is to look at the three videos that I've put up in the last week and a half, all related to the Winter Writing Challenge and all to help define what it is that you want, why you're doing it and how you want the finished product to be. Those three videos are called Why, When and How. Basically, why is to find out why you are truly writing about your life story. Because once you know that, it's a lot easier to keep going, to keep on track and to finish the project. When you have those moments when you're thinking, ah, do I really want to do it? Is it worth the effort? That video is designed specifically to help with that issue. So even if you think you know why you want to write about your life, I'd still recommend watching that one. The next video is when. Now that one is to, surprisingly, to help you decide when you are going to write about your life. Because again, routines are really good to keep you on track. Otherwise, before you know it, you turn around and you've lost two weeks and not written a thing. So I would strongly recommend you watch that video too. I mean, let's face it, I wouldn't have created these videos if I didn't think they were important. So I would recommend you look at that one. The third video is how. And this one specifically covers different ways you can record your life because 
whilst I love writing and writing is something I do without thinking about it, I'm aware that not everybody has the same enjoyment of writing as I do. But it would be a shame if somebody's story didn't get recorded purely because they didn't want to write it. So this covers different ways you can record your life and get it on the page or however you choose to record it. So there you go. Those are the three videos. You'll find them on YouTube next to this one in the same playlist. You simply click on them and they'll be there. As to the project for this week, well, it's a good starting point regardless of how you're choosing to record your life or what you're choosing to do with it. And I think it's something that's quite regularly overlooked, but it is important. And even if you haven't got all the details, I would suggest that you write down your family tree. It doesn't matter if you can't go back a stack of generations. It doesn't matter if you don't know people's middle names. It doesn't matter if you don't know which year they were born in. That is not the point. Those details can be filled in afterwards. And to be honest, a lot of family trees don't get written purely because people don't have all the information, which is a shame because a lot of information that is known gets lost or has to be researched. For example, you might know your cousin's birthday, but not entirely the year they were born. You might know your grandma's birthday, but you don't know what her maiden name is. You might know a great aunt, but not know what their middle name is. And if you put off writing your family tree purely because of these little bits of information, it's easy for the whole th project to get overlooked. So that is the project for this week up until Friday. Write down your family tree. Now, if you're an artistic person and you want to do things traditionally, you can draw them on the page as they used to be done. Or you can list them on the page if you like typing. Or maybe you like graphic design and you find a way that you can draw a family tree on the computer and combine both ways. Doesn't matter. Whichever way suits you. Okay. And then your next step, once that's written, is to tune into the Friday video, which will have your writing project for the following week. Now, if you feel like you would like to do some writing in between time, don't forget that every Tuesday on this channel, I bring out my weekly writing prompt, which for the next 13 weeks is going to be chosen specifically for anybody who's writing about your life. One of the benefits of it all being my YouTube channel, I can choose the prompts and I can choose the order that they're appearing. So like I say, for the next 13 weeks, every Tuesday prompt will be one that you can use to write about your life. And in actual fact, you might find that you want to take up every prompt that I put out for the next 13 weeks, just to give you something else to write about. Well, there you go. I hope that's given you something to think about. Please remember to give me the thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you are receiving every video that comes up relating to the Writing from Life Winter Writing Challenge, regardless of whether it's winter where you are or summer. And of course, if you want to be involved in the discussions or if you think you'll have any questions that you'd like to ask me about this project or about the challenge at all, remember to click follow on my Facebook page, Elizabeth's writing page. And having said all that, have fun with your writing and I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Bye.